Growing up for your parents and grandparents, life was like a simple family recipe, with men and women both playing their part. Nowadays, women claim they can do it all, but does that really make them happy? Society says, be a boss babe, but does that suit everyone? Some women rebelled against it, but because they want to fit in, it's making them miserable. The reason we are talking about this today is because we all know when women are upset and miserable, this carries over to stress for men. In relationships, some say men lead, women follow, and the stats kind of agree. But the main dish for a successful relationship is authenticity. Whether you like traditional or modern, just be real. It's your recipe for a happy life. In this video, I am going to break down why modern women are not happy and how their mental state is affecting the modern man. Let's face it, women claim to not need a man, but that's almost like someone saying, I don't need to go to the grocery store, I have Uber Eats or grocery delivery. Just because society has found a way to outsource all the roles a husband once provided to women and make them pay for it, doesn't mean they don't need men. Men create the cars, the roads, the buildings, the infrastructure, and women today have no reason to appreciate it. In today's world, women are empowered to pursue education, careers, and financial independence more than ever before. The traditional notion of women relying on men as providers has shifted, encouraging women to be self-sufficient and break away from historical expectations. Feminism is like adding spices to a family recipe that was already perfected, an attempt at making things more interesting, but at a cost. Imagine you have something that has worked for millennia, and now you implement something new, not knowing if it would be good or bad. The narrative of women being told not to rely on men and to prioritize career independence has been prevalent. However, my personal journey led me to question whether women truly want a man or simply need one for a better quality of life. The pressure to conform to a certain narrative, like being a boss babe, feels condescending and contradictory to many women's authentic self. Acknowledging the importance of feminism in empowering women, I also recognize its potential contribution to sexism, affecting both men and women. Struggling with the term feminist, many grapple with the idea that embracing one's true nature may sometimes conflict with societal expectations fueled by the feminist movement. See what men need to understand is just as we have things that drive us, women do as well. Many men use motivation as a fuel to drive them to success. Women tend to use empowerment as a fuel to drive them towards what they believe is success. The problem is not empowerment, but rather what they are being empowered to do. Do you ever think to yourself, why do women ask for things they don't even want? They ask for a nice guy, but date the bad boys. They ask for chivalry, but cringe at the sight of it. This is because most humans of the modern world have been manipulated. Yes, men and women. The people who run the world found the formula to keep themselves rich forever, and we are their biggest ingredient. They realized that women spend the majority of the money, so what did they do? They sold to women. But what happens when women get married? They tend to be influenced by their husband. So can you guess what happened next? They split the man and the women up. More divorces and less marriages. Now he pays rent over here, and she pays rent over there. That's two sets of payments, instead of one. Now what? She's alone, earning consuming, and spending. What is he doing? He's trying to get her. How will he get her? Well, there used to be a time that men can just be edgy, responsible, and a good man, and get a woman. Go and ask your parents who got all the girls in their days. It was probably those guys who rode skateboards and seemed edgy, and the ones with ambition kept their women. But any guy can ride a skateboard and smoke a cigarette to seem edgy. They needed to find a way to disqualify most guys from being an option for women. That way men can keep pursuing and spending money in that pursuit. Well, that's where hypergamy kicked in. Hypergamy is just the fact that women date up and typically want a guy on her level or higher. So what they did was provide imbalanced opportunities for women and mask it as empowerment. What does this mean now? More women are doing better than more men. If an 18-year-old girl is making thousands of dollars easily now on the internet, doing things that her male counterpart could not do, 
What does that mean for the 18-year-old guy riding his skateboard because he can't make a million dollars showing his feet to keep up with his female counterpart? Now he has to chase her, which is expensive, rather than her chasing him, which is cheap. Do you understand? Some modern women around the age of 28 to 30, when experiencing a significant shift in perspective, let go of societal expectations, finding relief in being true to themselves, rejecting the boss babe persona and focusing on a fulfilling family life, discovering genuine happiness and satisfaction, contrary to the constant battle faced when adhering to societal norms. So you have to understand how they think. They ask, why are women around the age of 30 breaking away from the feminist path? Oh, let's see. Maybe because she is aging and isn't being chased as much by men anymore. So what do they do? They invest heavily into the beauty and cosmetics industry and try to push back the clock for their best consumers. The term pick me girl emerged, describing individuals who conform to please others, compromising their beliefs for acceptance. This phenomenon reflects a broader issue of individuals, both men and women, suppressing their true selves to fit societal expectations, contributing to a lack of authenticity and fulfillment. Exploring the dynamics of relationships, the idea that men lead and women follow was discussed. While this traditional approach may not resonate with everyone, statistical evidence suggests that certain relationship dynamics lead to greater stability and satisfaction. Acknowledging these statistics doesn't dictate personal choices, but underscores the importance of understanding potential consequences. This is where many traditional conservatives go wrong in today's society. They try to present the absence of marriage and the nuclear family as the issue in modern society. But that's the equivalent of me saying, I'm hungry. What is the issue here? The issue is that I have no food. Now let's say I go to the store and I buy some food, but when I walk outside, someone steals my food and runs away. What is the problem now? Yes, the problem is still that you don't have any food, but you can't ignore the fact that someone stole your meal. You have to address the new problem. Their inability to focus on what's really going on is enormous. Now ask yourself why. Why would they dodge the new issue? Maybe because they benefit financially too. Make no mistake, to elevate to newer heights in life and soar above the competition, kindly like the video to let YouTube know this content is valuable. Also subscribe to this channel so I can talk to you again soon. Go forth, be great, be dynamic.